Hello once again. I want to clear up some things before I really get into it. Uh, I didn't expect as many people to add me on Discord as they did, as the, as as, blah, 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 as they actually did. It was just a stupidly crazy amount. I think right now I have about 20 DM requests, and it's just I can't handle that much. And plus, it was getting a little annoying. So as of now, I will not be taking any more of those. But, in return, you get this. Essentially, I'm going to be giving you many tips and tricks based off of the things that people were having trouble with. So yeah, I found a keypad, and I'm going to show the most common things that happened when I was DMing people. I'm gonna have to work fast. Okay, the first thing is getting to each start, or a each entrance. So, the very first entrance is directly next to the map, this is number one. So, when you go in here, you'll usually start facing this way, you just gotta go this way, it's right next to the map. Now, when you're coming out of number one, where's number two? Number two is this way, it's diagonally to the left. Now when you're coming out of number two, where's number three? Number three is this way, and right here, and down this giant corridor. When you're coming out of number three, it'll either be through here or here, but regardless, you're going to want to take this path right here, this extra one. And if you're coming through this path, it'll just be straight ahead. Next we'll get on to very path-based things. Oh, and by the way, don't ever have your graphics up high. Always have it low, it's much easier to see. So for number one, many people were getting stuck on this part right here. Uh, specifically where you walk out of this part and have to go this way. Because the entrance, there's multiple small entrances that you can go through. Know that it is the middle one. There's one here, it goes around a corner. There's one here, that's the right way, it's the longest way. And right here is obviously a wall. So look for the one that goes farther down. And you can easily see it by turning down your graphics. I think most people had the pattern down, so I'm going to move on to number two. Number two was the one that had the most questions asked about it. And it's mainly this entrance right here. The easiest way to do it, you enter right here, then you go this way, to the left. And you kind of hug this wall, but if there's an entrance, you don't go through it. Now, once you're at the back here, and there's this entrance right here, it's the very back entrance to the left. So, let's rerun it again. You're going through, you turn to the left, you go this way, and it's the last entrance on the left, and then you have to go to the right and avoid this part, and just go down this way. So essentially, when you're also going back, it's just reroute. So whenever you turn this way, just keep going diagonally that way, this way, and boom, you're back. Right here. So, that's basically uh, all there is for number two. Number three is surprisingly easy. Like, I'm surprised that they made it this easy. All you have to do is go down this super long corridor when coming in from number two. And, uh, basically that's it. For number three. Number four is a little tricky, and probably the most tricky one, like, of her path overall. But the main thing you want to do is the same thing that you do with all the others. You want to avoid small entrances with, like, quick cuts and go down the long corridor. I had to tell many people that. So you, so this one's long corridor, you'd go down it, and then for this one, you can see that there's a little entrance, two entrances. You want to go down this long corridor, then you turn to the left at the very last entrance, and you can see two of them. It's this one, right? You'd want to go through here, and if you're going through this way, and you hear that little sparkling sound effect, you know you're at the right one. And uh, then there's that little gap, but not many people really thought about that. I never even really thought of it, about it, but the number four and er, like exit, I guess you would say, is a little different. But it's basically the same thing, you just gotta follow the long corridors, and then go that way and you're there. The last thing I'm going to touch up on, yes, I know this is a very short video, but I'm just gonna... Overall, because it's just the problems that people had with it. The last one is the pattern. So I'm gonna go down number three for the easiest explanation. 
The pattern is easy to get used to once you do it a couple times. There's some things that I want to recommend too. If you have very much difficulty with one certain way, then do it over and over again once you figure out how to do it. What, from here, this is how you know that there's the pattern. Right, you make a right turn, and then you go down this way and there's glowing. That's how you know it's there. Then, you go this way, ignore that little small space, this way. And then it's the first one on the left, right here, this big one with the little glowing in the corner. Then here's a little tricky. You gotta loop directly around it. So, here's what it looks like when you're going back. Let's see. You're going this way, you just got the relic, you don't want to turn that way. You're gonna go around this corner, this little room, around the corner. Like I said, if you are having trouble with a certain path, just do it over and over again. Don't even dedicate yourself to getting the relics, just go through that one path. So yeah, that's basically all I can say. If you aren't on a PC, and you cannot split screen, what I recommend is either, and I know this sounds crazy, but print out the map, or watch somebody go through it each time, and get used to that, and then keep doing it over and over until you get used to it. It's going to take a long time, but when you get used to it, like, I wasn't even try I wasn't even, like, using the map this time, I just know where I'm going. I rocked up such an easy, like, comprehension of where all of the pieces are, and that's just from going back and forth on the things. You just need to go back and forth on the paths, and you'll be fine. Also, you may also notice that I, uh, the render distance is very lower down, lowered down because of the graphics, and that's what you'll be seeing when you're going down number three, is that the path doesn't even load all the way down. That's how you know it's number three if you're on low graphics. But, uh, yeah, this wasn't really a long video, it's just a little bit of an update for, uh, things that are just things that people get really stuck on in the maze. And so I really hope this helped, I hope you are able to get it now because many people were DMing me and it was getting a little exhausting every day just having some random person do it. So again, from now on I am no longer accepting those. If you have added me I'm just going to ignore it and you can go on with your day. And yeah. So uh, see ya.